This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster My Podcast. This is the Kuatoa. There's a monster in my podcast. Goblins of the Sea. Yes. Uh, not quite deep ones. It'll make you wish they were deep ones. These, these things are like, I, I don't love these things. No. They have a couple details I like about them, but it's also a two pager. So yeah, that, that's a, you know, that the, the bar is higher. It's like a double album. You really have to earn it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And um, it doesn't it doesn't win a lot of points by its second page being mostly a priest thief or king of 12th or 14th level. <laughs> like it is just yeah. it is just town compositions, which you've already lost me. Well, a lot of it is, except for um, the left column where they talk about two things that are really great. Um, one. Uh, well, I guess they reveal this earlier, but I just want to point out how they're young are called fingerlings. Oh, they're just like little fish. Yeah. Or just like potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then how uh, some of them get trained to be monitors who hang out in case Koatoa go fucking ape shit. <laughs> yep. Because they, the, in the society, every once in a while, Koatoa is just going to this rage and they have these monks that are trained to subdue them. Yep. Like, it's really weird. Yeah. It's a, like, that's, it, that's a weird detail. Yeah. It, it, it is a society wide sanity pact. Yeah. 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 I mean, is that any different than us, though? We have, you know. And that's true. Yeah. Like, we should probably go back and append that to the, every episode of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, it really? Is it really that weird? <laughs> Perhaps humanity is the real monster manual. <laughs> yep. Because we contain multitudes. Who do you think wrote this? Oh, I mm -hmm. don't think. Are you, are you, are you angling no, toward, no, oh, no, humans. no. Yeah, okay. humans. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't think it was prehistoric Pete. Um, <laughs> no, no. It definitely the, wasn't um, prehistoric Pete. This, uh, this, the, it's a little bit Lovecrafty. Not like in a, yeah. oh, this is a terror from beyond, beyond the stars kind of thing, but they do remind me of Deep Ones just a little bit. Yeah, they used to be on, on the surface. Mm -hmm. They used to live in Innsmouth and got kind of chased under the sea. Um, they're looking to get back there. Of course, <laughs> they have like glowing fields of phosphorescent fungus, like tended to by <laughs> slaves. You know, and they subsist mostly on a steady diet of flesh. Like, you know, yeah. they hate the sunlight. Like, they're they're pretty, you know, this is not a bad, uh, as far as, like, goblin slotted monsters, mm -hmm. I don't think these things are bad. Yes. I think they're kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, but, like, even these guys, like, they're they're part of the, like, aquatic portion of the under, Underdark. So we have specialization on top of specialization. Like, they are yeah. the, the, they're the missing kind of third party for this three-way rivalry between Mind Flayers and Drow, which I've never heard of Kuatua. Um, outside of this book the um you end up in a koatoa settlement in uh from the underdark in baldur's gate 2 mm, okay so i mean we we gotta do baldur's gate 2 for a show at some point cole like it's yeah. a really good game yep um yeah and the uh the underdark section is is just you know italian chef kissing fingers <laughs> i just knocked over a lot of stuff to make that gesture. <laughs> is there anything important no, no, no. I just knocked my controller onto the ground, but it was because I was trying to balance this book on one hand while oh. also putting my slipper back on. Like, it was a really busy couple yeah. seconds there. <laughs> I just, I'm not going to lie, but I have, all, I have like two sets of slippers and both of them are too big for my feet, so they don't stay on. Oh, yeah? I don't know why. I I, I mean, I probably need to just take care of this problem. But... <laughs> I just stuff them with paper towels. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, do a paper stuff. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Did you know that Um. the reason why, uh, I'm sure you have this highlighted. The reason why other sea creatures don't attack these things, uh, because they <laughs> because the they are closest and favored of, uh, because they request the mercy of the sea mother, blib blib oh, you mean, you, you mean blibdle poop, blibdle poop the sea mother who gets no further explanation. Nope, <laughs> blibdle poop 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 to poop like blibdle poop. Yeah. yeah um, oh, ooh, my God. gosh. This is a Forgotten Realms thing, Gary. Uh, Blibdelpulp, um, also known as the Sea Mother, was the deity worshipped by the Kuatoan race. Her symbol was a lobster head and a black pearl. Um, hmm. This is all in past tense. So I, oh, I, man. I, what a shitty thing to draw. Like, a lobster head is busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it's, like, why it, isn't it a lobster claw? Give me a break. Like, no, no. Like, like, how are you going to, like, stitch all of that horrifying mouth meat? Yeah, you're never going to put that on a shield, Koatoa Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Blibdle poop usually took the form of a 20 foot uh, tall nude human female with a lobster's head and claws in place of humanoid parts. Oh what? My God. What, what humanoid parts? parts? <laughs> hey, oh my god hey forgotten realms.wikia.com i need more specification i feel very differently about blibdle poop, poop. 
<laughs> if uh, if it's like an outer labia, that's a lobster claw. Yeah. Versus um, like if each individual nipple is a lobster claw. Yeah. Because then it's like, <laughs> nah, uh, uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. It, like, this is stopping just short of talking about strategically placed spinnerets or swimmerets. Yeah. Oh, why not both? That's amazing. Uh, like each individual <laughs> finger is a lobster claw. Like if, that's that's actually kind of fascinating. Now this makes me want to play spore. <laughs> That should never happen. I know. Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv.